guys, today we're gonna teach you how to do that dipping curve freaking, but it won't be me teaching you. It'll be Christian, and um, he's pretty good at it. Right, Christian, thanks for joining us, man. Pleasure as always. Um, so, the secret sauce. We're about to spill a little bit, let people know how to do that signature free kick of yours. Yeah. Let's say you get a free kick right about here. You step up to the ball. First thing you do, what is that? Uh, first thing, I think, uh, you get to aim where, like, where you are. Then you, of course, from training, you like, memorize where you are on the pitch, and you know how hard you're gonna kick it. And then, of course, you get the ball, and you get focused. And for me, I always put the, the logo, or the FIFA logo, down. Okay. Uh, touch the ball, and then I always go five steps back. Five steps? Five steps, always. And then it's like from here, taking a look at where the keeper is, where the ball is, and then, uh, yeah, and then really aiming. We all know you're a baller. You can yeah. do it in your sleep, right? But, but for everyone else, for me, we sat, uh, stood here, and I know I want to put it in the top corner, but from aiming, you know, taking the right angle, yeah. And then to, to executing, how do you know if you're standing here or here? How do you know that angle? Training, I mean, from training. Yeah. I know from my training that it'll be I like this distance, I like this run up. I always do the repetitions, it's the same. So okay. the run up will always be the same no matter how I want to kick it. So I just want to know, I memorize, like, this is how I'm going to yeah, kick yeah. it. It goes over the wall, you hit it well. Yeah. It's all about the memorizing, you know how it's going to hit. So it's me always, first day left, always backwards first almost, uh -huh. in front, and then in front, and then. Get the ball down, or you close. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, fair, yeah. fair enough. Um, and, and that's the thing, you know that the way you, you, you need to strike the ball, you need this angle, so you can get it like... It changes a bit though. Sometimes you'll be more, if you want it more over, if it's a bad day, or you feel like this is different, or the wall is closer, yeah. you want to get it higher, so or you do the same. Okay, so you, you basically determine on where you are, how much power you need to get on. Yeah. Okay, but let's let's then look at how you strike the ball, right? Because yeah. one thing is the runner, once you get that straight, where do you strike the ball to get, you know, that dip on the ball? If I had to kick the ball, I would probably hit it here. Okay. But then I'll, I'll follow my foot up. Okay. But I wouldn't take, I wouldn't stop. So if I wanted to dip, follow through. Okay. If you just stop the ball, it just keeps going. Yeah. So it's like a <laughs> I know through. all about that. Basically, it's not as much as, because if I had to put it there, I would probably come more from an angle and I would really take my foot round the ball yeah. to get the curd. Yeah. So you more like get the inside almost like on the knuckle. Yeah, and, in and between. Just... I'll say in between. It's probably okay. not, because the ball would move for yeah. me on the left. It would be a little bit of curve, but not like a proper knuckle ball, but a little bit on the left. Yeah. So it'd be like in between, but definitely follow through. Okay. So, go across, do you stop or do you go across the body? Uh, no, follow through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, follow through. That's consistency, guys. I mean, if I'd done that twice in a row, I'd be like, yeah, we're going home, I'm ready. And that's another thing, the power on that thing, and the first one. I could probably get that as well, but with way less power, right? Yeah. How do you combine the precision and the power? I think it's a bit of both. I mean, it's training, of course. You know how much power you have to generate to kick the ball like this, and I feel like, for me, I need to, I've done a lot of training and a lot of research on kicking the ball, and I know about 100 kilometers an hour for a free kick. It's a good, it's a good uh, estimate, so you you know roughly how you how, how hard you're gonna kick it. And so you know that that shot is around 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Okay, I mean that's. <laughs> then I understand you're so good at it, right? Yeah. Is it something you sit down, you, you study, or is that again just training, training, training? No, study. Like you have, like now you have so many difficult or different techni techniques, like stuff you can measure how, like in golfers, they have the yeah. same trackman in football, where you can like tr measure how you kick it, uh -huh. and you get to see how the aim is, where, how, hard, how hard you kick it, how much topspin, everything. Uh -huh. And I've used that for a while now. It's okay. nice, it's good. So do you have like a, a, a favorite um, spot, favorite free kick spot, where you, you know, you're here, it's easier to put over the wall in that yeah. corner? Okay, yeah. so rather that prefer than this side, yeah. yeah. But it's more of a right foot, you prefer, you, most of the time you go from this side, it's easier to choose one or the other, but I still like it from the other side as well. It gives yeah. more option to go harder, to go the long corner, or if you go short corner, it's a bit more of a, more difficult to keep it. So if, if I'm, you know, trying to get this technique down, yeah. and I simply, I keep skying it, is that because then I strike the ball too hard? Could be. Yeah. Could be. Could also could be like how you hit it, obviously. Okay. Where, where, where would you say you hit the ball here? If you can just show us. Uh, I think here, just about here. So that's a very. That's actually not what I expected you to say. I thought you would go more around the ball. So that's pretty. Well, interesting. Around the ball. Yeah. So like more, more. You you would come a little bit more down out here and then swing your leg around it. But I think it's a bit. I don't even know where I hit it exactly, to be honest. Okay. But somewhere. Enough. 
You can probably film it. Film it here, you can just see where I'm headed. <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> In the middle. But, but look, if we can get one last thing, like if you have like a secret, so if your son was in the age where he really wanted to go out and take free kicks, yeah. what would be dad's best advice to him? If you do one, you do one free kick, no matter how you run up, if you do run where you feel like this is top and it goes wherever you think is amazing, do exactly the same, like repeat. Yeah. Keep the same feeling, just repeat the same, for me, the same run up. Keep that thing of this is how it's going to work and then trust that process. So, so there might be, you know, science to it. You say you, you study and all that stuff, but in the end, it's training yeah, and training. Okay. Guys. Bit of technique, bit of training. Well, te technique bit is of luck. Uh, you have that in space. Yeah, then you have a wall. You have everything you need to be uh, concerned about. But yeah. in the end, if you hit the ball properly, eight out of 10, you'll probably be all right. Just when did you start practicing free kicks? Like uh, always, since I was 13, 14. Okay. So, I mean, it's too late for me. No, you can still learn. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> you can always learn. But yeah, true. It just depends how good you become. Yeah, that's another question. But we'll save that for another day. The day you heard the man. Yeah. The sauce. Let's go do it. Yes, guys, you've seen how I do it. I hope you learned something. So practice make perfect. Yep. You heard the man. Now we got a little bit of Christian's secret sauce. But guys, what do you want to learn next? Let us know in the comment section right down below. Remember that if you want the new generation pack from Nike, the World Cup boots, you can buy them from the link to your sport right over there. Of course, remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on if you haven't done so already. And finally, if you want to learn how to improve as a footballer, the playlist right down there is pretty awesome. So hit that up and Christian and I signing off. He's already shooting again. Cheerio.